Hello, my name is Yejun Hong. I'm a medical student in the University of Calgary, and our team is here to discuss MELAS, uh, which stands for Mitochondrial Encephalopathy, Lactic Acidosis, and Stroke-like Episodes. And this is one of CPEO, or Chronic Progressive External Ophthalmoplegia. Ophthalmology and neurology are uh, specialties that are quite closely linked. Uh, eye is a sensory organ responsible for perceiving light, and it is connected to the nervous system to transmit that information. It is situated very close to the brain, and any uh, disease pathologies of the brain, such as increased intracranial pressure, can directly affect the eyes as well. The eyes are also innervated by 4 out of 12 cranial nerves, 2, 3, 4, and 6. 2 is for perceiving light, and 3, 4, and 6 are for extraocular movement. Retina, which is the innermost layer of the eye responsible for uh, detecting, perceiving, and uh, converting light signals to electrical signals, has a neurosensory layer as well that uh, collects and becomes the optic nerve as it exits the eye. One uh, great disease that uh, demonstrates this link between ophthalmology and neurology, and by great I mean it is a perfect example, is MELAS. This is a form of CPEO, as discover, uh, discussed from our uh, title page, and it has stroke-like episodes. MELAS stands for mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episodes. Uh, this disease occurs due to the abnormal mitochondrial DNA. It, its representative symptom is a slowly progressive bilateral and external ophthalmoplegia that affects all directions of gaze. It, it, the disease occurs in a child after normal development. Most of uh, the etiology for MELAS is from a mutation in the MTTL1 gene in the mitochondrion. This impairs mitochondrial ability to synthesize proteins and use energy uh, from oxygen. So symptoms of MELAS, and this is, although this is more comprehensively displayed by our diagram here, uh, is CPEO, hemianopsia, optic neuropathy and pigmentary retinopathy, and corneal, cortical blindness in the eye. Patient may also experience frequent vomiting, and seizures, dementia, stroke-like episodes after, the, uh, after around the age of 40, hemiparesis, hearing loss, and decreased vision, ptosis or droopy eyelids, foreign body sensation and tearing up are also uh, are there constellations of symptoms for MELAS? Most of the symptoms of MELAS we would be able to observe uh, as, a, as signs of the patient with MELAS, such as CPEO, optoneuropathy, seizures, dementia, hearing loss, ptosis. And on the cornea, you could notice a superficial punctic keratitis. And on, in the fundus, retinal pigment epithelial changes. Differential diagnosis includes other diseases that may impede with um, extraocular movement, like down gaze and up gaze palsies, progressive supranuclear palsy, dorsal midbrain syndrome, and myasthenia gravis. So conduct a, a thorough ophthalmic history and do a neurologic exam with special attention to cranial nerves. Measure their visual acuity and ask if their vision is adversely affecting their everyday activities. Measure their extraocular movements, uh, examine their lids and pupils, and do, do a doll's head maneuvers and Bell's phenomenon as well. Mitochondrial DNA analysis can be ordered uh, from their blood and to look for deletions uh, for mitochondrial disorders. 
muscle biopsy is taken from a, a thigh or a deltoid and the appearance of abnormal ragged red muscle fibers can direct their attention to another disease uh, within the CPEO series. Consider anti-acetylcholine receptor antibody test and an ice pack test for myasthenia gravis and lumbar puncture can be done if uh, central nervous system processes need to be ruled out. There, unfortunately, is no effective treatment for MELAS. Topical lubrication with non-preserved artificial tears every hour uh, with ointments before going to bed for exposure keratopathy can be done. And if the ptosis affects their life significantly, um, surgery uh, can be considered. So here is a comprehensive summary of everything we talked about uh, with, in terms of MELAS. This is the reference from which we obtained information. And here is the source of an image we, we obtained from a study. Thank you for watching this video.